What's going on YouTube? We are back at it again today with a, a very special video and series that is going to be dropping over the course of the next few days where I have the pleasure of playing against one of the best players in Singapore and if not the world, the Red King himself, Noel. By the time of this video releasing, the restrictions will be set in place by Bandai where Marco, Whitebeard, and Radical Beam will be limited to one copy in your deck of each card which is absolutely insane. But I know a lot of y'all out there are probably wondering, what should I run in my deck? And well, here we are today, showing you guys Noel's list for Zoro that can beat any deck out there on any given day. And it's absolutely insane. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video and let's get right into it. Here we are with the deck list, starting off with four Otamas, four Makinos, and two Magras. I feel like a lot of these cards at the beginning here will be pretty standard with four more Ezos and four Buggies, as well as four Curlies. You have your 12 Searchers in the deck, which help you find the Whitebeard Pirates events, and then your one cost characters above right here. All pretty standard. Some people might opt in to run more Magras. Some people might run no Magras. It's really up to you, but this is what Noel has decided to do. Now, something interesting and a little bit different that some people have been questioning is the use of Blamenko in the deck. People ask about, why don't you use Gordon? Why Blamenko? And the reason being is because Blamenko is a Whitebeard Pirates, which means that it is easily searchable by Ezo. It increases the chances that you hit something at least with the Ezo instead of whiffing. Blamenko also does the attack subtraction on your opponent's character when swinging, which in some people's opinion is better than Gordon because not only does it get a swing like Gordon would be, but instead of sending the character down to the bottom of your deck, that Gordon would be doing, Blamenko stays on the field and can become a blocker at that point. Next, we have the four Jozus, which not only is it used as a 2K counter, but Noel at the Asia Championships in Singapore. I believe, I believe it was the Asia Championships in Singapore. Multiple games use Jozu to win the game. Noel considers Jozu as his best friend here, as not only is it a 2K counter, but just a body on the field that you can end up playing to swing with. Next up is the classic three cost Rush Zoro, which some people have opted to only run three in their deck, but in this case, Noel runs four. With the restriction coming out about the four cost Marco, we still do opt in one of them just in case if we're able to find it and use it. It's just such a good card, and there's a reason why Bandai decided to restrict it, even though some people do feel as though it shouldn't have been restricted. Our five cost Marcos. Four of them being in the deck is just expected as well. And Radical Beam, even though it's been reduced down to one per deck, it's a guarantee that you're going to be running it. I mean, why not? Just such a great card. So OP. And then Guard Points, four of them making up and covering that lost space for Rad Beam, where you would be running four of them traditionally beforehand. Now, what we don't see in a lot of the Zoro decks post-restriction are the two Fiery Dolls here. Fiery Doll is just a really strong card, 2 cost, 4k attack buff, and the trigger is just insane, subtracting 10,000 attack from a character or leader, which can really make or break a game. This card can go great into a lot of matchups that we see, especially if people are still going to be running Whitebeard, where you hit that 6 or 8k attack threshold that you need to overcome. And even in Zoro Mirror matches, honestly, this card can be great to get over the Rad Beams, the Guard Points, and just absolutely demolish and run over your opponent. And the last cards that really seal this deck together, not only in Mirror matches, but also against the Formidable Law deck, is going to be our Fire Fist and Jet Pistols. Fire Fist is just such an incredible card, clearing two bodies for three Dawn, which is just amazing and running four of them just helps increase the odds of you drawing into it or searching for it and so it's hard not to run four of them in the deck and then the jet pistols a lot of the time i noticed that jet pistol would be used as a discard for fire fist but in that off chance that you don't find the fire fist and you have your jet pistol it still can clear bodies such as blocker marco in the whitebeard matchup that we saw noel face against fabian earlier in the stream or even the five cost marco right there that's 6k so overall it is a very strong deck still 
that controls your opponent while still outputting a ton of pressure. So let's see the Red King himself in action right here, facing against none other than me. Yeah. Oh, I'm really good. Okay, I'll keep. Thanks so much for the follow, uh, Copia Made. How was the stream today, Eggman? I hope you had a great time this morning. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta pick up Joey and show him the stream. <laughs> really? Hold on. Joey or Nala? Welcome back from the ads, Nav. Sorry about that. Apologies. So you met Justin and Noel at Arlington Regional. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, people are asking when Seafood King merch is coming out. Uh, merch? No clue. Gotta ask my boss. Okay, there you go. There you go, XD, XD memes. I'm just a player. Gart feeling spicy? Nice, bro. Nice, nice. That's awesome to hear, Eggman. How do you want to cut it? Half's fine. I'm not tripping. Okay. Yeah, he's just a player, bro. Okay, I'll go first. Pa. Yes, sir. Dang, dude. I thought we talked about the sim being rigged. Now IRL rigged? No, it's okay. Let's go Ezo for one. Like a top five. By the way, for those that don't know, um, you guys are watching the uh, slowest Zoro player ever and also... The Zoro player that whiffs the most. Nothing. Nobody's home. <laughs> Let's go Nami. I should have searched oh, with Nami God. first. Just watch. Nobody's going to be home on this. Okay. At least I, I got something. Zoro. Fast. Okay. Oh. Thanks for that. Hey, no worries, memes. No worries. Sometimes it might take me a little bit I to see your that. message. But don't worry. I'll take it. Dude, B, thank you so much for the 38 months. Bye. What's going on, B? Everybody go show some love. Drop some hearts right there for B's 38 months. Absolutely Whoa! insane. Let's go! <laughs> and we got half breed with the raid too. No way, bro. Yep, you're good. Okay. You know, that's something that I've always uh kind of question myself is like if i don't have something to play but i have magra do i just play him to get a body out even if i can't use his ability treat it as you with the nami it's the same shit fair that's fair big shout out to uh <laughs> that half breed dude i hope you had a great stream as well thank you thank you half breed make sure you guys go drop him with a follow bro everybody's raiding because they know it's you that's good <laughs> Oh man. Uh good games to us both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. How's the stream, Half Breed? What do we do here? Um We play Haruto for two. I have a Vista. I can get rid of his Magra. One for Magra. Oh, is that You trying to grab him? Yeah. I'll go five at leader. Up. You gotta grab that toy. You gotta grab that toy that May smacked me with. <laughs> I'll take. No trigger. Uh, let's go Magra for one. Buff up the Ezo, okay. and I'll go five at leader. And then I'll do Vista and pop the Magra. Oh, not that Magra, the Dan. The Dan? Do you think so? Okay. Oh, it's up to you. Okay, okay, sure. I'll listen. No, I'm all ears, bro. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you said you were sorry. Uh, oh, man. It was fun. You're trying to give Swole a master class? Oh, nice. Okay. Off the leader. Not triggered. Pop the Vista. That's one. Nice, dude. That's awesome, man. Giving out some small master classes to your subs as well. Trying to get more people to think about the game in a high level way. That's sick, bro. We got scuffed master class here. I, I definitely cannot compare. So if you guys want some master classes, go check out Half Read because 
This is this is definitely not gonna compare. He's got Marco out. I have six Dawn. Let's see here. If I play Haruta for two, I have two Machinos. I I get out my Marco. I have one Dawn remaining. Um, it's even worth it to get out my Marco. Yeah, I just play Zoro. Haruta. Makino, Makino, that leaves me with two Dawn. Hmm. Decisions. Decisions. I just get rid of the Magra. Um. Bro, I'm really the slow. I, dude, after this, I don't know if you were there, Noel. Josh came up to me mid game and he's like, bro. I've had I've had multiple people come up and tell me that Vu's the slowest Zoro player ever, <laughs> and now I'm just getting in my head. I'm like, fuck, dude. I, it's like a, a, a it's like a timer's going down each time it's my turn. <laughs> take a time, man. Just don't take too long. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fuck me. Okay, let's go one on on a Zoro. Okay. And then I will play Machino. Buff up the Magra. And I'll go okay. six at leader. You should always swing the leader first before you do this. So you, at least like now I know what like what you do, you know? Basically don't give so much information first. Okay. Okay, okay. I okay, yeah, yeah. So you would say swing six with the leader and then play the Machino? Yeah, if you wanna play the Machino. But okay. I wouldn't even play a Makino, like, usually, if, like, there's something on the board. Okay, I was I was just gonna go full face. <laughs> I mean, you can. Um, okay. <coughs> I will... Now I have to change my... I'm gonna change the game plan. Uh, I'll go... 3 at Magra. Yeah. I'll go 6 at Leader. Now I gotta re mm. rethink everything in life, you guys. So three for Zoro and seven at leader. No trigger. Yes. Oh. oh, I'm definitely overthinking everything now, bro. <laughs> we got 131 people in here, dude. I'm definitely overthinking everything. Six at Zoro. The character? Yeah, yeah, the character. Sure. Only life. No trigger. Target Makino. That's it. I'm done up. You told all the homies to come through and watch. Oh man. All right, I have a Vista, Zoro, Haruta, Brook, Makino, and Marco in hand, you guys. Oh man, okay. Mm. I could play Brook. Is like at this point in time, I feel like it's not even worth it to play Brook. Chin villain, thanks so much for the follow. <laughs> What's going on, Chin villain? Like, dude, Brook's rather. I'd rather use him as a two K counter, I guess. I could use Makino. Put one dot onto Zoro. Use a Machino to buff up Magra. Play my Rush Zoro. Mm. Seven, three, seven. Swing sevens. I don't know if I'm getting rid of the Marco. Do I swing at Marco? Do I swing at Marco or do I swing at Life? Life. Okay, that, at least at least I was thinking something correct. Daxon, thanks so much for the follow as well. All right, one down on the Zoro and another one. I'll go seven out leader. Okay. Can't believe you just called a boost. <laughs> Point. What's going on, Roaming Jester? Playing Machino, buff up the Magra. 
Go seven out leader. Hey, okay. let's go. Play Zoro. Seven out leader. Okay. Pass. Just trying to put more pressure on me. Thanks, Chin Villain. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, man. How many cards do you have in hand? Four? Four. I really hope that the move went well, though, man. We miss you. We miss you, bro. Three K counter. What's going on, Raccoon? What's up? What's up, C Raccoon? Thank you for the hydrate, Jester. Can I get out of this, you guys? I have two K counter in hand. Does he have Rusher? Can I survive? Can we survive, bro? We got Cal up in here too? No way. What's going on, Cal? Damn, bro. We got the whole gang. 7 out leader? Yeah. You have 9 Dawn up? Yeah. Fuck me, bro. Um, <laughs> I've never known. Is it worth it to use this? <laughs> um, sometimes, but like, um, <laughs> I don't know what to hand, so it's like, it depends. Yeah, like, I have no dawn up, too. If I don't survive this turn, it's like, I don't think you're surviving the next turn keeping this. Like, it yeah, on whether you yeah, can I'll use it. Yeah, then you should yeah. just use it. Uh huh. Why the fuck's my Christmas tree still up? Why is your Christmas tree not up? That should be the question you should ask. Uh, character. That character. Yeah, he's gone. Earth is Nami and Magra. Yeah. It's Christmas every day up in here. What's going on, Bam? Welcome back. Oh, three cards in hand. No rush. Three cards. He got three cards in hand. Two dawn up. Yeah, we're fucked. We're fucked, you guys. Unless if I can get rid of the Marcos, but there's no way I get rid of them, right? There's literally no way if he, unless if he's bluffing that he has the events. Um. I put one Dawn on Azoro. Five Dawn onto Makino, swing six. <laughs> Not even, bro. Oh my god. Five Dawn onto Makino to swing six. I could go seven, nine. Oh, fuck. Eight, eight. <laughs> I just realized... I had the uh, I had my record still up from um, the Eggman tournament the other day, and so people were asking if I'm four one against you right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. Yep, yep. Sure. I'm trash. Uh, either way, You're I just feel like the worst player ever. <laughs> either way, I don't think I'm getting through. So how about this? We'll go uh, seven dawn onto Makino, and I'll go eight at your Marco. Your Marco? Yeah. If you have the events, you have them. But, okay. Yeah. Doesn't matter, I guess. Eight at Marco. Okay. You should just go for game because it's like there's a chance you may win, but it's like because you swing at this, my is five. It's like cheaper for me to counter this. Hmm. Okay. So True. either way, I'm gonna counter this. True, true. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, we have still lost, but like. 
All right, so it's a it's a four two me now, you guys. Can Noel come yeah, back? Four two. Yeah, four two me. All right, you guys. That is the end of the video. Please consider dropping a like, subscribe, and comment down below. It'd be much appreciated. And if you guys want to see any live content almost every single day of the week, go check out the Twitch, twitch.tv backslash Mr. Underscore Voodoo, and we'll be seeing you guys next time.